Uh, just my car is a mess, an absolute mess, a disaster. Let me sit him back, kicking the back. But yeah, what's good? What's good with y'all, man? What's good, man? What's up? I ain't doing a stream on my phone in a minute. Let y'all get up in here. What up, though? Strap. God. EJ. I can't hump it. I don't know if I'm saying that. What's good with you, though? Been a minute. Strap God J. This car's a mess. Absolute mess. Yeah, he retired. He retired today. I guess he his body couldn't take it no more. Um, he had to keep getting surgery on his arms. He couldn't really perform like how he want to because his injuries is limiting him. So he just went on and retired. So yeah, that's wild. That's wild. I remember tweeting about this this morning. That's wild that he retired like that though. It's crazy. Shoot, he going he was going into his third season. Only twenty five years old, so still very young in the league, so I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. <sighs> well nah, they gonna say, well, the Lions is the reason why he retired. What they gonna say now? They gonna say the same thing like they said about Calvin and Barry. Oh, he retired early because the Lions just suck and they just don't win enough. <laughs> Shoot. They still got... They could get somebody else for him, though. They can get somebody else, though. So I think Don Kasu's still on the market. I don't think he's going to come back here, but I think he's still on the market, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, We can go get him. Get a, a veteran leader. Should we need a veteran? Get a veteran like like Sue. Put him next to Liam McNeil and leave out on Zarike. And they're going to be cooking. I'm telling you, that defense is going to be nasty. That D-line is going to be nasty. They get Sue up in there. Yeah, Sue old. He, what, 35? He, what, 35 now? But, shoot, he's still better than half the league right now at his age. Why not bring him back home, man? Why not? And shoot, <laughs> why not bring him back home? You know, apparently with Lee Manil, Lee Manil played pretty solid for his rookie season. So, shoot, he could be a mentor. He could also add an edge to these defensive to the defensive line room as well. That extra edge and extra, you know, fight feistiness. You know, Levi Onzerike, he would probably impact him the most. So, and we run in a four three defense. Which make it even better. Why not bring back Sue? Why not? Let's try. If you don't want to come back, then hey, it is what it is. But why not try to bring back Sue for a year? Why not do it? Let's go. You got, I think your corners is pretty solid. I think we got pretty solid corners. Except Jeff Okuda. I don't think he, <laughs> well, this the year he got to prove himself, but. Is it either make it or break it this year for Jeff Okuda? If he, he get injured again out for a significant amount of time or he just get out, outright cooked like I think he will, then it's a wrap. I seen Jeff Okuda, get, he get cooked by a practice squad wide receiver in preseason last year. I remember. His name was Stevenson off the Buffalo Bills. Practice squad guy. Absolutely blow towards Jeff Okuda. I know it's preseason, but come on. Come on. And they will win the Super Bowl. It's just a matter of time. Hell yeah. Like, well, yeah, man. 
Jerry Jacobs was solid so far. So did AJ Price. Or AJ Price. AJ Parker. Bobby Price. He looked better at safety though, but yeah, anyway. Why not? Why not bring back Sue? I mean, it's not gonna fix our defense completely, but you know, he can help them guys out. And they're gonna be space eaters. Aleem Neal and Sue, space eaters, and they and um Charles Harris and um Aiden Hudson, they're gonna eat. Plus, this would be great for Aiden Hudson too, to bring in Sue, to bring in the edginess, that no bullshit mentality. You know what I'm saying? Aiden Hudson already on that tip. Like, no bullshit mentality. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm not trying to be cocky or none of that shit. Like, I'm trying to come in and prove myself in this league. So, Sue would be good for him, too. Well, I ain't going to say Sue is a leader, like a locker room leader. Like, he just a... Uh, up front guy, but he he can lead by example. That's what I mean. We're going to have a top 10 offense when Jay will get healthy. I don't know about that. I don't know. It depends what Ben Johnson's scheme is going to be. I don't know what he's going to really call. I don't know. I hope he calls some. I, call, I hope he calls good plays. I mean... Some of the things I've seen last year, I mean, we seen some trickery. One thing about the Lions, I think they're going to do, they're going to do a lot of trick plays this year. A lot of play action and a lot of trick plays like they did last year. <laughs> a lot of people forget. Also, we went for, we was the we was the most aggressive team on fourth down in the NFL. We was number one in the league for, convert, I think, converting fourth downs, I think. So... Don't be surprised we do the same thing this year. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised we get aggressive on fourth down again. Don't be surprised we go for two-point conversions. And don't be surprised. By the way, we lost a couple games like that because we, went, we tried to go for two. We lost a couple games like that. But anyway, or our field goal kicker suck ass. One of the two. Something like that. Hold on. There we go. Anyway, I know you probably seen me spill like, you nasty, you're a nasty motherfucker. Don't forget the Romeo Cora or Julian. Don't forget about Julian. Julian, seen, he got more explosion than his brother, though. And Romeo, I don't know how he's going to play after the injury. I don't know. And his Achilles. It wasn't like it was just a, ain't like he had a, a broken shoulder or something like that. He had an Achilles injury. I don't know how explosive he's going to be. So, I think the Lions probably gonna they probably gonna be a top twenty deep offense though. I don't think they're gonna be as bad as they was the year before. But hey, we'll see. I'm not getting my hopes up too high for that offense, despite having better talent. I'm not getting my hopes up way too high yet. Not too high. On paper, we got talent. And then the Lions come in a regular season and just shit the bed like they per they usually do. They'll play like dog shit. So they'll come in, look good for a second, and they suck. Also, what I want to see this year, I want to see more of TJ Hawkinson. Please give him the goddamn ball, bro. Like Jared Goff, give him the ball, bro. Enough of this bullshit. Get on the ball, bro. Like, TJ Hawkinson should be flirting with a thousand yards, if not eclipsing a thousand yards, as a top ten pick as a tight end. Why the fuck we not getting him the ball? Why? TJ Hawkinson will literally, if we get him the ball, you know how scary this offense will be become. They will be a top ten offense easily, and they get Hawkinson the fucking ball. But that's why I'm saying I'm holding my horses on that shit. I'm holding, I'm holding my tongue on that. They don't want to get sw they don't want to get Hawkins in the ball. They don't. I mean, it's okay to feed your receivers and shit, but come on. If Hawkinson went to the fucking Packers on some other shit, 
He'd probably be the number one receiver on the team right now. Aaron Rodgers would he he would be eating with Aaron Rodgers. Eating. If he went with if he went to the um what's another team he would go to, he'll thrive in. Somebody like the Indianapolis Colts or something. A team like that with Matt Ryan there and all that. Yeah, they'll thrive. Well, TJ Hawkinson will thrive. Can't wait to find out who the Pistons are drafting. Man, he's always on topic. It's always the one person on topic. I ain't talking about the Pistons right now. I'll talk about them later. I'm talking about the Lions right now. Even though I don't know what the hell they I don't know what the hell the damn direction. Yeah, there's a Lions video, so why talk about the Pistons? I'm talking about the damn Lions. That don't make any sense. It's like Travis and Mahomes. Yeah, like Travis and Mahomes. Like, this dude would be deadly. Put that motherfucker with Russell Wilson. He'd be a killer. Let him go to Denver. He'd be a monster. Shoot. They need to get Hawkinson more involved, man. I'm sick and tired of them underutilizing him. That shit pissing me off. They don't use him enough. They don't use him enough. Hawkinson will be a monster right now. He had another quarterback or had another. He was on another team. For whatever reason, y'all, the Lions love drafting tight ends in the top ten, but don't use these motherfuckers. They don't use. Well, they try to use Ebum, and Ebum just he just trash, but. Yeah, man, like, other than that, they don't use it. They like using tight ends in the first round. They don't even use the motherfucker. Oh, he's the next generational tight end. He got, he got the talent to be. Even though Hawkinson, his blocking can be a little better, his blocking can be better. Because, honestly, his blocking have been a little subpar. But receiving-wise, he don't get used enough. He just don't. That will open up this offense that much more, just using Hawkinson. That'll open up shit for Swift. That'll open up shit for uh, Jamal Williams or whoever the running back back there is. That'll open up shit for Amon Rossi Brown up the middle as well. That'll open up shit for DJ Chark, you know, Josh Reynolds. That'll open shit up. Y'all don't want to use Hawkinson. Y'all don't. Y'all want to be an attacking offense and shit. Play action. This is the... Play action will be great for tight ends. Play action usually is great for tight ends. Play action is usually great for tight ends. If we're going to go use play action a lot this year, tight ends is a very viable, they're a very integral part of play action. You need a tight end. You need to use your tight end this year. Play action not as effective if you ain't got, you're not throwing the ball to the tight end. It's not. And it's not as effective when you don't run the fucking ball, even though we are going to run the ball. I want the Lions to smash teams in the fucking mouth. I want them to make a statement against the Eagles. Like, look, y'all blown us the fuck out last year. This is what we going to do. We're going to go in here. We're going to smack the fuck out of you. We're going to crush your ass. We're going to fuck up Jalen Hurts. We're going to tear his ass up. And then we're going to walk out that bitch. They need to make a statement week one, bro. Like, real shit. The way that... The way that Jalen Hurts did y'all last year, and even though he wasn't great, but it was good enough to beat your ass. The way the Eagles did y'all, y'all should be embarrassed. Y'all should come in that motherfucker and try to put up 60 fucking points and blow their ass the fuck out the frame. I'll, I'll score touchdowns relentlessly. I will, I will never take the foot off the gas, ever. If I'm up, I'm not taking the foot off the gas. I'm constantly putting up points. I don't give a fuck who get mad. I don't give a fuck who get mad on the Eagles. I don't give a fuck the coach get mad. I don't give a fuck. I'm blowing you the fuck out. That's what we should do. Since y'all got your ass kicked by 38 fucking points, you might as well blow them the fuck out at home. Week one. They gave you the worst ass whooping of the season last year, remember? Week one, make a statement against the Eagles and crush these motherfuckers. That's what they should do.
I think this this team gonna be a six win team, though. Realistically, I think we're gonna win six or seven games. <laughs> realistically, I did say five and twelve, and that's not impossible either. So, well, I say six, seven wins. I'm not gonna put my expectations too high. I'm not gonna do it. Who knows? Jared Goff might lay an egg. Oh, what up, though? Um, more to see Sports Talk Woods is good with you. I ain't, salute to you, man, for real. I'm telling you, we got to go out and make a statement. Week, <laughs> week one, we got to make a statement, man. Fuck the bullshit. Need to beat their ass. The fuck is going on? It's a weird shit going on. Anyway. Yeah, we got to make a statement, though. Week two, we play the Washington Commanders. We got to beat their ass, too. The last time we played Washington, they beat us. No, actually, did wait. Did we beat them the last time we played them? I don't remember. I think we either beat them or they beat us. Last time we played them, we had uh, Matt Patricia. He was our coach. No, we beat them, I think. I think we beat them the last time. They was called the Washington football team. We beat them. If I'm not mistaken, they had Alex Smith. They was trying to win, and Matthew Stafford, he won a game for us or something like that. Yeah, 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 we beat them. But we got to beat them again. Said Lions win three games. You just trying to get attention. Lions didn't win no fucking three games, bro. They won three games last year. Yeah, that's true. But you could easily say they could have won six, seven games last year if not for missed field goals or – one literally losing by two, three points, like five, six of your games. You're losing by a field goal or less. So, and the schedule is a lot easier. Schedule is easier than it was last year. I'm going to tell you this. The way, if you want the Lions to be successful, you think the Lions going to be, everybody saying Brad Holmes the best GM we ever had, which is a bunch of crock, a bullshit. Um, he haven't done shit. He haven't won shit. How the fuck is he the best GM we ever had? He haven't even made a playoff appearance. He only won three games as a GM. Three games. He went 3-13-1. That's not, that's not the best GM i ever seen. So I'm not saying he trash. I'm not saying he's going to be horrible or nothing like that. You know he made a couple mistakes I didn't like. I ain't going to lie. But... Even Josh, drafted Josh Pascal, I like the talent. My problem is with that is he's still not signed. Why is you waiting so long to sign this guy? What, are you trying to check out his medicals now? Why are you doing this shit now when you should have been doing this shit pre-draft? You, now you want to check out his medicals after you draft him. And you like you liked him. You thought he was healthy enough to be drafted, right? Why the fuck do you draft him? Just not to sign him or have him practice. What the fuck? It's stupid. That's dumb as hell. The Lions do dumb ass shit all the time. Dumb shit. Like, it's always something stupid we do. We always do something that makes no fucking sense. And I'm not knocking Josh Pascal. I think he actually talented. I actually think he could be a, a solid player for this team. But why... Why do that shit? That shit makes no sense. You had a chance to get Brisker in the in the second round. You could have got Drake Jackson. You could have got motherfucking Malik Willis. Anybody. Anybody. You could have got Ken, I think I think Kenneth Walker was there when we was there selecting the in the um second round. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he was there too. I I might be wrong about that, but if he was there. That's another reason you could have got him. You could have got him. 
For real. Shit, we could use another running back. Swift, he ain't durable enough. Shit. Swift, he out here built like a fucking Ford. He built like a Ford Escort and shit. Small and unreliable. But got a lot of potential as far as performance. If you get what I mean. <laughs> He's a motherfucking Ford Escort right now. Not an Escape. Not a motherfucking Explorer. Not a motherfucking Expedition. No. A Ford motherfucking Escort. That they discontinued. Shit. We always doing dumb shit. And sunroof is cool. HB, HBK Tokyo said, We lost Washington last time. Haskins was our quarterback. Rest in peace. No, we we played them after that, though. I, I could have sworn we played them at home. I could have sworn we played them at home when we had Stafford. I think it was Stafford's last season here. Yeah, it was Stafford's last season here. Uh, Washington, they came to Detroit, and the Lions won, I believe. That was one of the five, one of the five fucking games we won that year, if I'm not mistaken. Who under more pressure this upcoming season for the Lions? Jared Goff or Dan Campbell? Both. Jared, I, well, I say Jared Goff for real, for real. Jared Goff because this is last chance. If you don't play decent this year, it's going to be a wrap. And people say, oh, he got potential. He played good in three games last year. Who gives a fuck about them three games? Where, would the, where the fuck was he at against the Rams? Where the fuck was he at against the fucking Rams? We was winning that game, bro. He single-handedly lost us the fucking game. Y'all, y'all don't, y'all, y'all just dismiss the other games he he plays shitty in. He single handedly lost us the fucking game, bro, against the Rams. We had the Rams in the palm of our fucking hands. We was about to beat them with Stafford, and Stafford wasn't even playing good. He wasn't even playing that good that game, and we was winning most of the game. And then this some bitch start turning the fucking ball over. Or what about Green Bay? He started turning that bitch over in that game, too. We was beating Green Bay ass, and then he started fucking the game up and started giving the lead away to the Green Bay. Oh, he played good in the last game against Green Bay. No, man, fuck out of here with that bullshit. Fuck out of here, bro. He played like shit against the Ravens. He played like shit against the Vikings the first game. Like, what the fuck? I hope he does be good. I I hope he proved me wrong. For real, for real. I really do. I want him to have the best season of his career. I want him to have the best season of his career. But y'all want to dismiss the games he played like dog shit. He played like dog shit in them games, bro. Watch the games, man. He threw a pick against the... <laughs> he about to cost us the uh, other game against the Vikings, too. But the interception actually helped us in a fucked up way. But it did. He played like shit, man. Come on, man. Get real. Get fucking real. Get fucking real. TJ and Brady will be unstoppable. Man, he going to Tampa Bay. It's over. They going to the Super Bowl. Shit. I would brought Gronkowski out of retirement and had TJ Hawkinson join them motherfuckers. They'd be unstoppable. That offense would be unfair. They they went in the Super Bowl, they had Hawkinson. I promise you. No, I ain't lying. You know I'm telling the goddamn truth. Oh, he's doing no man. This team right here, man. They something else. They really are. They something else. For real. Whew. Shoot. I seen Adam Rank's another prediction for the Lions. He had us going five and twelve. Uh, that's not impossible. 
That's not impossible. Shit. I won't put it past us. Which Lions player need to have a breakout year? I'm going to say it once again. Quintez Cephas. That ain't going to happen, though. Because there's it's more weapons on the team now than it was last year. Quintez Cephas, even though I think low-key, he's probably the best route runner on the fucking team. He probably is because <laughs> the guy's a killer. But a guy that need to have a breakout season is DeAndre Swift. That's who really need to have a breakout season because... Shit, running backs are very replaceable in this league. I like DeAndre Swift. I thought he was the best running back coming out of this class. Boy, I was wrong. <laughs> That's Jonathan Taylor because he <laughs> he was balling. But even though I did like Jonathan Taylor too, I, I remember saying I liked him. But coming out of Wisconsin and shit, but he need to have he need to have a thousand yards, man. That's why Swift try to bulk up and shit, try to take his protein shakes and and eat his broccoli because this the year, man. It's either make it or break it, man. You you either gonna get a thousand yards this year or or a career backup for the rest of your career. You're gonna be a career backup. That's where you're gonna be. Shit, running back's lifespan in the NFL ain't long at all. So Swift, he got to prove it this year. He can get to at least nine hundred, a thousand yards, or his ass gonna be a he gonna be a, a career backup running back for the rest of his career. And I'm serious when I say that. Cause he can't stay healthy. He can't stay healthy. It's not. It's not even his ability. His is his durability. That's the problem. Even though he don't. He's not the best at reading like holes to run through. I mean, he's good at it. He okay at it. But he's not the best. But he is a great red zone target. You can use him in the red zone. That's where he thrive at, in the red zone. You run a ball with him in the red zone. He gonna find that hole. He gonna run through it and he gonna get the touchdown. How many touchdowns he had last year? Russian touchdowns like what? Like seven? I can't even remember. Seven or something like that? And these, what's your expectations for Jameson Williams this year? Not, not much. This is why I think it's going to happen. Jameson Williams, he's not going to really, he probably going to be, I don't see him playing, practicing too much in the training camp. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> he might, he ain't playing no preseason games. I'm gonna let you that. I'm gonna let you know that right now. He ain't gonna be in the preseason. That ain't gonna happen. I don't think he probably, if he do play in the regular season, it's probably gonna be like mid to late season. Like he gonna probably come out in November or something. More likely than not, he probably be out playing by November. Oh, Kuda needs a breakout season too. Yeah, he does. He does. Shit. DeAndre Swift and motherfucker Okuda. They both was in the same draft. They both was. They was in the exact same draft. Back-to-back -back picks. Okuda, first round, and the pick after that, uh, motherfucker DeAndre Swift. Okuda, man, he been a bust, though, man. I seen this motherfucker get cooked by a fucking practice squad wide receiver in preseason. I'm not even making this shit up. This dude, Steph, Steph, I think his name is Stephen or some shit. Stevenson. Yeah, Stevenson. His name was Stevenson. Off the Buffalo Bills. Frying his ass, boy. Cooking the fuck out of him. And he a practice squad receiver. What's your expectations for Ada Hutchinson? <sighs> Ada Hutchinson. I think he'll have an okay rookie year. He probably gonna get like seven sacks though. He's gonna get like seven sacks probably. They he gonna he gonna make his name known early. Like he gonna be he gonna be an impact player. But teams gonna catch on to him. They gonna try to double team him. But then again, if you double team him, then you got Romeo Aquara and Julian, and then you got Charles Harris. They coming to fuck you up. So you double team, and Charles Harris is a beast. I don't know why the Falcons got rid of him or let him go. They. The Falcons, I know they they kicking themselves in the ass right now. For, <clears throat> they kicking themselves in the ass right now for letting him go. And he dropped it in 2019. He wasn't dropped it that long ago. <laughs> I know they mad as hell they let him go. Because the talent is there. I guess Dan Quinn was just trash. He didn't give him the motivation or something because he came here, he started playing well when he got the chance.
and expectations. Another guy I hope I see something good out of. I want to see breakout. Well, they ain't going to have a breakout season, but is uh, Malcolm Rodriguez. I think he's going to be a really good linebacker. I think so. He probably might be the still of the draft. But I could be wrong about that. He might be trash. <laughs> See, our linebacker core is ass cheeks. They ass cheeks with fucking with fucking leftover booty crumbs on their ass. They they suck, man. They suck real bad. <laughs> Everybody is is prone to get fried and cooked. <laughs> Everybody is gonna get cooked. <laughs> Everybody. Man, Jared Davis, don't even give me stuff. <laughs> don't even give me a start on this. <laughs> don't even give me a start on Jared Davis and Alice Alzalone, dog. <laughs> they both played at the same school. They both the same age. And they both playing on the Lions together as well. They played together on the field in college as well, which is crazy. Anzalone out here looking like Chris Jericho. He like a, a a more buff version, a bigger version of Chris Jericho and shit. Out here getting his ass barbecue chicken. Which Lions defensive player is the edge factor for a successful Lions defense? Uh, damn, I don't know. Hutchinson. Real shit. Hutchinson. Hutchinson gonna have to be he gonna be ha he gonna have to live up to his expectations. You'll draft the number two. You'll draft the number two overall. Shit. You gotta step up, dog. I have high expectations out of you. And I watch you your whole career. It's not like I don't I, I ain't have to watch this tape. I seen I see you play every fucking week, every Saturday. You you played in Michigan every week. I ain't gotta really look deep, dig deep on fucking game tape on you. I see you play every fucking week. <laughs> Shoot. So I watch your whole career in Michigan. Cause I'm a Michigan fan. I'm a Michigan fan. That's obvious. I'm a Michigan fan. I've seen your whole career. I always thought you was a dog. Last year, I thought when he got hurt, I thought he was a dog. He just he gonna stay on the goddamn field, and he had long hair back then, which is weird. You say you killing me? Got to be better than three wins is what I'm saying. Saying super saying, but yeah, uh, yeah, we gotta win. For me to feel okay about this season, we gotta win at least six, seven games. For real, for real. Especially with the schedule. We got we got the Jaguars. We got that circle. We got the Jaguars, the Jets. I think the Washington Commanders, I think they trash. I think the Jets is trash. I think the Jaguars. Don't, now, don't get me wrong. Now, the Lions, they're prone to lose to fucking garbage-ass teams. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> they do this shit throughout their history. They'll fuck around and lose to the Jaguars but beat the Buffalo Bills on Thanksgiving on, on some goofy shit. They, that's that's what the Lions would do. You know how they you know how they get down, bro. You know how they get down. They'll lose to the they'll lose the Jaguars, but beat the Buffalo Bills and shit on some goofy shit. They'll turn around and lose to. They'll turn around. What's another trash ass team? They'll turn around and lose to the Jets, but beat the fucking um, but beat the Patriots or something. a fucking neck pissing me off them motherfuckers probably is gonna try to attack my ass I got on I got on cologne and shit they probably about to come after me but anyway which Lions players offensive as factor for the Lions offense to be successful to score points the edge factor it's obviously the quarterback but Besides that, it's gonna be Hawkinson, man. You want? I told you, like I said earlier, Hawkinson got to get the he got to get the fucking ball. 
You want to open up that offense and, and get it to its full potential, you got to you hot, bro. And then Josh Reynolds, can he can go off and all that shit. Big injuries to start the stack up that has been the death of us for real. Yes, it has. That's why this team was 313-1. This team was banged up like a motherfucker. You got you put you playing with practice squad players against Denver. Come on now. Against Denver. You got practice squad players out there. Craig Win Craig Reynolds went off in that game. But while we lost that game, because we had a bunch of practice squad players that really didn't don't know what the hell they doing out there. They just out there. So injury's been a big reason why we've been losing. Shit. Mm -mm. What else y'all saying? Yeah, them injuries be killing us. <laughs> Shoot. I had to get a video. I ain't even talking to y'all in a minute. Was I tried to make a live stream the other last week, but for whatever reason, it kept lagging and it kept on lagging and shit, and it was all slow and I don't know. It was just a hot mess. What's your expectations on Panay well? I think he's gonna be a Pro Bowler in the second season. I think so. He's gonna be a Pro Bowl right tackle. I believe that. That's my expectations for him. I think he's going to be a pro bowler. We only had one pro bowler last year, and that was uh, John, uh, Jonah Jackson. You got three, basically, you got three guys on that offensive line that's going to be fucking pro bowlers. You got Ragnow, you got Jonah Jackson, and you got Panessa Will. Three, three out of five of your offensive linemen is fucking pro bowlers. Decker never made it to the pro bowl. I don't know why. Well, I know why, because he ain't consistent enough. And he always hurt. Outside of the Packers, who have been dominating the NFC North for years? Which team outside of the Packers is a threat to within the division? Is it the Vikings or the Bears? Man, the Vikings been... If it ain't the Packers winning the division, it's usually the fucking Vikings. They usually win the division every... If it ain't the Packers winning the division, it's the, it's the Vikings. And I still think that way. We look good on paper. Yeah, we look good on paper. I'm not getting my hopes up way too high though. Not not right now. Not right now. The good thing. Fuck. Okay, Mudbone said it's a good thing that DT um that retired from Detroit gets other guys on the D line chance to show that talent. Yeah. Um yeah, Pen uh, Penicini. Yeah, he retired, so. I always like Kevin Strong. I don't know why. I always thought he was solid. He didn't get the uh, opportunity. Yeah. I don't know. They might bring in a guy off another team or something like that. Or they might bring in a Dominican Sue. Or they might bring in a... Uh, they might bring in an undrafted guy and see what he can do. So... Yeah, man. Well, I started the tackle is going to be a Liam and Neil. Leave on Sarike. You know, they're going to be playing on the inside. So. I like Levi. He can step up. He can step right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Levi's. <laughs> Levi's dog. Levi, he just wasn't healthy last year. His problem was health. It wasn't so much his talent, it was more health. You know? This year, this this scheme fit his skill set more, though. So I won't be surprised he, he have a better season. What's your thoughts on the minus OTAs? I don't, that don't mean shit to me. You know why? 
because it ain't going to mean shit till they put on the pads. Yeah, Trinity Benson looking fast and he looking all explosive and shit with no fucking pads on. He, he got on fucking... He got on fucking pajama pants like Dan Campbell said. And pajamas and, and slippers and shit. They ain't really out there banging and slanging on each other. They ain't banging out here. He put that pads on, his ass gonna slow down probably. I think it's I think it's better receivers than Trinity Benson. I think Quintez is better. Amon Rossi Brown is better. I think Josh Reynolds is better. I think uh who else? If J J Mo come back, well J Will come back. I don't know. He, he gonna play this year, but you know, such and such and such and such. I've been waiting forever to win the NFC North. Come on, Lions, man! I'm not picking us to win the division, but I don't think we're gonna finish last either. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think we finish in second. <laughs> To be honest, I think we're gonna finish second. Cause I think the Vikings got talent. They got they got a better quarterback than we do. They got better receivers than we do. But they O line is ass. Their D line, their defense is overrated as fuck. It's o, it been overrated for years. I mean, even in their best years, I say their defense overrated. When it comes to time to show, their defense is trash. Their defense actually is trash. Trash though, for real, for real. They defense suck. Uh, Bears offensive line suck ass. They terrible. That's why Justin Fields get fucked up. <laughs> and any quarterback they had back there was getting fucked up because their O line is horrendous. O line trash. Defensive line ain't all that. I, their defense overrated as fuck too. It ain't all that. You can score on that defense. You can score on both of these teams' defense. Even the Packers. You can score on these fucking defenses. Like a motherfucker. And it's going to show this year. When the Lions play the, the Bears, they're going to they gonna tear Justin Fields' ass the fuck up. They're going to tear him up. They're going to tear his ass up. They're going to fuck him up, and they're going to play against the Vikings, and they're going to fuck Kirk Cousins up. <laughs> Shoot. But you don't have – nah, don't get me wrong. You don't necessarily have to have the best offensive line to win. You don't. But, yeah. You said defensive line will be nasty this year. I hope so. Because that's what's going to make the engine go. If our defense is any good, we're going to win some games. For real. But realistically, our defense only going to be as, just as good as our offense going to be. Without motherfucking, um, if Jerry Goff play like crap, it's over. I don't care how good our defense, I don't care how much defense. Off is the, yeah, our defense sucked, our defense, 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 and the rankings and all that shit, but you're not looking deeper into it. The reason why our defense ranks so low because they're on the fucking field all goddamn day. When you got Jared Gall going three and out every fucking series, you got him or or um or trash bag twelve going three and fucking out every goddamn series and being horrible. Then yeah, it's you your defense gonna suffer. They're gonna be on the field too long. They're gonna get tired and they're gonna get they're gonna get exposed because they so damn tired and on the field too, too damn long. They better tighten up the linebacker group. Yeah, they do. They do need to tighten up the linebacker group. The Lions don't know how to draft linebackers. They don't. They don't know how to draft linebackers for shit at all. Either that or they don't know how to coach them. I don't fucking know. Or both. Shit. But linebackers, we ain't had a good linebacker since DeAndre Levy. And he, he messed up his career because he want to go skydiving and, and hiking and shit and fucking himself up. <laughs> shit. He want to go hiking and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a wrap. We want to go hiking and shit. He, um, 1960s logo type shit with the fucking, with the damn thing in his fucking hand going up a damn hill. It, look at the Kansas City Chiefs old ass logo 
and think about DeAndre Levy. That's all I got to say about that. That's how his career ended. Shit. But, yeah. We don't know how to draw linebackers. James Houston out of uh, Jackson State. I don't know how. He was like a monster in, in Jackson State, but he in the big leagues now. We might... He might be good. He might be trash. I don't know. He could be another. Uh, <laughs> he could be another Christian Jones. All I fucking know. So, but yeah, man, because what do the Lions do to throw on the Packers to win the NFC North or to even make it the wild card? What are the key ingredients? You want to dethrone the Packers? This is what you do. This is what you do. You want to dethrone the? You gotta kill Aaron Rodgers. Not literally, but you gotta you gotta blow his ass up. You got that D line gotta be vicious. That D line gotta be nasty, bro. They gotta fuck him up. That's number one. Number two. Number two. Your offense gotta at least come close to matching up with the Packers. Our offense haven't been good in years, man. Even with Stafford, our offense haven't been good in years, bro. When the last time the Lions had a top ten offense? Seriously, this is a real question. When the last time we had a top ten offense? You want to be Aaron Rodgers? You got to offense that motherfucker. I'm not saying you got to go in a shootout with him or anything like that, but you know you got your offense got to be efficient. We got to be efficient. We got to be we got to be efficient or keep his ass off the field. Ernie Sims could have could have been a Detroit legend. He was on fire for a bit. It's too bad ultimate pan out here. Yeah, Ernie Sims was he was a dog for a, cu a couple seconds. Ain't he a hometown kid too? So yeah, he was a dog, but it it didn't work out. So any more questions? If I get off of here. I'm going to try to hold y'all up all day. I know y'all got things to do. I'm going to let y'all type. But, yeah. I expect the team to win six, maybe seven, about six or seven games with the schedule. But well, I could be wrong. They could, they could go out and bomb out before and 13. <laughs> all I know. It won't be the first time I've seen something like that. Jared Goff might get hurt. That's another reason why I'm, I'm skeptical on him. But he got to perform, man. He do. He got to shut me up. The Lions, shoot. If you want to make me, like I said, you want to make me a believer, at least make it to the wild card. At least be 9-8. Nine, nine and eight. Make the wild card. Something. Shit. Make the wild card. You might get your ass beat, but make the wild card. <laughs> you know, I can see you real improvement. Now these dudes up here talking about 10, 11 wins and shit. I don't know where the fuck y'all getting that shit from. It's an unreliable source. It got to be a bunch of things that happen for the Lions to win 11 games. As of right now. But, yeah. I guess I'm off of here, though. I talked long enough for y'all. I talked about 50 goddamn minutes. Damn near. So, um, yeah. Take care, man. I'm pretty good. Uh, same face. Take it easy. Have a good. You too, man. Have a good weekend. Well, I'm I'm off of here, man. I'm gone. Peace.